All right, so since I'm on the road, um, I'm moving from Florida to Massachusetts right now. So I thought this would be an interesting time to kind of talk about how, you know, when people are, are newly vegan or sometimes even after you've been vegan for a while, one of the things that can be a struggle is finding vegan food, you know, out and about, especially while you're on the road. So I decided that I'm going to challenge myself and walk into this gas station here. Um, I'm going to bring you along with me. I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble, so I'm going to try to hide the camera. So it's going to be some weird angles. I'll probably do an audio voiceover after the fact so that I'm not like talking to myself in this gas station. I've, I've gotten in trouble before for filming in company. Anyway, so I'm going to go into the gas station and we're going to see what vegan food is available in a typical gas station. We're in the middle of Podunk, Florida right now. This is not a vegan friendly place by any means. This is just right off the highway. So we're going to go in there and see what vegan options we can find. And Ubi is going to watch the truck. Keep the truck safe, Ubi. Keep it safe, okay? Don't let anyone come in. We'll be back. As a quick side note, Ubi is in the room with me while I'm recording this audio. She usually gets kicked out, but since this isn't a super formal video, I'm gonna let her stay in for this one. So enjoy the background noise. So we're walking in here and those are definitely not vegan. Those are the gross log-like things that you see rotating on the hot bars for God knows how long. Starting out with the basics, you've got your jelly and peanut butter, of course. The sugar added to peanut butters like Jif is likely sugar that's been filtered with bone char, meaning the charred bones of cows. You can see the link in the video description and at the end of this video for more information about bone char. So be aware, but don't sweat the small stuff if you're out and about. Of course, peaches and fruit juice are good. Again, check for added sugar and make your own call. I say in my sugar video that once we stop slaughtering animals for food, we won't be finding nifty ways to utilize their byproducts like filtering sugar through their bones. So cut out the meat, dairy, eggs, and honey, and you're hitting them at the source. The rest is up to you. So with this tour, several of the things I'll mention have added sugar, but I'm going to list them as vegan and you can make your own decision. I may not mention the sugar in every case. Then you've got some bread to put your PB&J together. Some maple pecans and pomegranate pistachios are good, again with some sugar, so make your own call. Both of these trail mixes are no-go as they contain milk, but we'll see some others later that are good. Of course, pumpkin and sunflower seeds are a go. Then over here we actually have some awesome veggie-based snack sticks and chips. And they say prominently, 100% all natural, no artificial ingredients, no dairy, 100% vegan, no artificial flavors or coloring, non-GMO, and no hydrogenated fats. That may be the most natural vegan thing that we've seen yet in this gas station. And I feel the need to point out the vegan marking. Then we've got veggie straws and apple straws, both again with some sugar added. Food should taste good. Sweet potatoes and multi-grain chips are totally vegan, not even with a sugar issue. Pretzel crisps, original flavor are good. Again, has sugar. The buffalo wing, however, contains milk, so it's a no-go, as is the jalapeno jack. Pretzels are good, but not the honey flavor, of course. Oreos are vegan in the United States, of course, with sugar. There are a variety of bars to choose from, some vegan, others not. The best way to quickly assess is at the bottom of the ingredients, they have to list allergens. So it will say it contains milk, soy, wheat, etc. So you can always see if dairy is involved. However, still look through the ingredients because some will have honey as an ingredient and some things like chips can have pig or cow fat listed. So this one is good, but that one contains honey. The fruit and nut Nature Valley is good. You'd think fruits and nuts would be vegan by default, but always check. So here I'm showing you the quick check allergens. This bar has milk listed, and the fruit and nut bar has other allergens, but no non-vegan issues. With Cliff Bars, you have to go on a case-by-case -case basis. Most of the originals are vegan, and they source their palm oil from sustainable farms, so no worries there. Of course, with beverages, you're usually safe, but skip any juices enhanced with omega-3s. Some brands like Tropicana's Heart Healthy Orange Juice get those amino acids from fish oil and gelatin. Also, the vitamin D in some enhanced juices is derived from lanolin, a natural oil in the fiber of sheep's wool. Barely Simple Toasted Crunchy Coconut Chips are vegan. They do contain sugar. You'd think Kind Bars would be kind, right? Well, this one contains honey, and this one has whole milk. Not very kind. 
Okay, so we've got some vegan trail mix options. Of course, yogurt is a no-go, as well as the ones with chocolate included. Now this almond pecan crunch doesn't look too promising, but surprise, surprise, it even states it's vegan. Look at that, a little leaf and everything. So now the barbecue chip showcase. Strangely, many barbecue chips are vegan, while others are not. So be sure to check the ingredients. Cape Cod is vegan, as are the original and sea salt, of course. But here you'll see milk listed as an ingredient on the Lay's kettle cooked barbecue. However, Lay's regular barbecue are vegan, but Lay's sweet southern heat barbecue are not. Funyuns are a classic vegan chip. You've got a variety of peanut snacks here. Fritos are another vegan oldie, and of course salsa. Original bugles are good, they do contain sugar though. Gordettos are good to go. The label says may contain milk as a cross contaminant, so that's up to you. Then look at this! Vegan specialty cookies in the Podunk, Florida gas station. They've got double chocolate and chocolate chip. Then we've got some kettle cooked potato chips and these voodoo style are vegan. And strangely enough, even the crab chip is vegan. There's the fail-safe fruit containers and mixed fruit cups. Not your ideal fruit source, but it will do in a pinch. You've also got fruit cups and juice, again most likely with added sugar. And a good dill pickle is always a safe bet. Then we've got the one Doritos flavor that's vegan, spicy sweet chili. And finally, the appetizing gas station fruit basket. Again, good in a pinch, but the bananas are usually never ripe. It actually went a lot better than expected. Um, the, the manager was actually asking me a lot about veganism. Um, so I'm gonna bring him my card. Here, you can check this out and there's all kinds of information about veganism and stuff. So feel free to check it out. There's a YouTube channel and website. So. Is that your book? Yeah, I have an ebook too. You can get for free on my website, so. Alright. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. So I'd say that was a pretty successful uh, gas station trip. What do you think? You want to go for a quick walk? Let's do that. So we just had a really successful gas station trip. Um, I'm walking Ubi really quick, but you know, I was actually, even I was surprised. Um, even I was really surprised by the amount of vegan options this gas station had. Um, this is still, I'm still pretty much out in the country right now. This is not like a, this is by no means like a vegan place. Um, I've been passing like a lot of uh, farmland and uh, steakhouses and things like that. Um, but this just this just goes to just goes to show you that it's really not that complicated or that difficult to be vegan. Even on the road, even when you're on the go, you know, I mean, the options in there were probably not the healthiest. You know, it's probably not the healthiest food that you could ever want to find, but it's a gas station, you know, like it's gas station food. Um, but there are still a lot of surprisingly vegan foods around and, um, I think a lot of times when people think it's really hard, that can just be uh, a mental thing. You know, it can be our own beliefs that we have about what it means to be vegan or that it's gonna be hard, but it, it really isn't. You know, we just saw within a random gas station in a very non-vegan place, there were a slew of vegan snack options even some specialized vegan cookies, which I was really surprised by that, so. Um, the manager was pretty cool, you know, they, at first I think they thought I was uh, like a competitor, like sizing up their inventory, but once I told them that I was doing this to show you guys how to eat vegan on the road, they were very helpful and very receptive. Um, so I gave the manager my card so that he can watch the videos and learn more about veganism. Because um, his reaction was the same as what a lot of people is. Um, you know, his reaction was immediately, oh, I could never do that. 
you know, like, because it's, you know, it's so hard to be vegan and it really isn't, you know, just in his gas station, I found a slew of vegan options. So I hope that was helpful for you guys um, to show you kind of like real life vegan options. Um, I think if you're into this, I was thinking I could do more series about how to eat vegan at specific places like restaurants, um, specific restaurants or, um, you know, different places that you might encounter in your everyday life. If you want to know how to eat vegan at those places, I can maybe do a series on that. So let me know if you like that idea. Um, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and I will know to do more in this vein. Ubi and I are going to get back on the road. Um, um, also, you know, if you enjoyed this and if you're new here, please do subscribe to Bite Size Vegan. Uh, it's just a big red subscribe button down there. Um, and I'm sorry that I'm yelling, but I'm right by a highway, so. Anyways, hope this is helpful. I will talk to you guys soon.